Have you ever wondered how hurricanes get their names? Well, let me explain. It all started back around World War II when forecasters were naming storms after their wives and girlfriends. Rude. Then in the 70s, somebody talked sense into them, they add male names into it, and then they alternated between male and female, which is the list that we have now. The names are picked by the World Meteorological Organization. So this is how the whole naming process works. The names go in alphabetical order. 21 names in total, but they don't include Q, U, X, Y, and Z, because how many names do you know start with the letter Q? <laughs> These names need to be short, easily understood, and represent the countries surrounding that tropical basin. Take the Atlantic, English in the US, Spanish for Cuba and Puerto Rico, and French for Haiti. If that storm is deadly or catastrophic, that name is officially retired and is to never be used again. Some retired names, Hurricane Andrew, Katrina, and Irma. And if some names look familiar every couple years, well that's because the names get recycled every six years, but swapping out the ones that were retired.